So I'm here. I'm on the uh, hip. He wizards hard. The moment he wizards hard on my arm, the only reason he can wizard hard is because I'm pulling hard. Right? So when I feel him wizarding hard and shouldering down, I'm going to let my arm go limp like a noodle. Notice how my hand is on his hip. As he wizards hard, it goes limp and lazy. Now his anchor to me is a little bit jeopardized. With this grip right here, he can really wizard me hard. Right? I think that's the best way to get out of the Thunderbolt situation. But I just take off the arm that he's wizarding, his anchor to me, and I turn it into like a lip noodle. So he has no base on it. He's really cool to Okay? So, he's wizarding nice and hard. Okay? Take my arm in. <coughs> I'm going from thumb up to thumb down. Lip arm nice and loose. Okay? Thumb down. And I'm going to, he's still wizarding hard. And I'm going to take my hand. I'm gonna put my own thumb on my back, right? So turn the thumb down, thumb to back, and I'm gonna try to throw his arm to the mat for the limp arm. Now I have a really good angle. Now the bull has just charged and I sidestep and now I'm not getting my kill, right? Same thing with the bull. they go to all fours like that? Uh, if they push it really hard, they will. Let's say they don't, right? Let's say they just kind of do this, I can still get a good angle to get behind, mm -hmm. right? I still got my angle out of my back. And that's how we drill these reactions so we're ready. Okay, so I'm here. But this side is the one they drill, they wizard really hard, okay? I'm going thumb down, limp arm, thumb to back, right? So the back of my hand is gonna be on my back. I'm hitting myself in the back on the way out and throwing his arm. Now from here, my left hand's going to his hip. Alright? Now I'm gonna let go of his leg. When I let go of his leg, my partner's alive, he'll probably start trying to move. So I gotta make sure as I let go of his leg, I grab his other hip. So now, no matter where he starts moving, I can fall up. Get my body off. And get a nice position here. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Really simple. And I want you guys to drill it nice and slow, just like that. Even if you need to, like, so as I lift arms, I'll have my partner slow it down. I'm kind of go slow mode. Start going slow mode. So I can just figure out how I need to do this, right? So just tell your partner, react at 20%, just to give you a feel of what you need to do. So again, he wizards nice and hard. Throw it down, make my arm loose. When I was pulling the hip, my muscle was out of the eight out of 10, pulling really hard. Now I'm going to a zero out of 10, right? I'm literally turning off the muscle now. Thumb down, hitting myself with the back of my hand, throwing his hand, left hand's ready to grab his hip. I let go of the leg, my partner's gonna slowly get away. I'm gonna grab his hip, I'm gonna pull him to me consistently as I have his hips, right? Because sometimes it takes too long to get here. Mm. But sometimes you need to just get right here just so you can slow down so you can get here. Okay. You asking a question? Yeah. It doesn't matter if your palm's up or down when we're here. So when we do the limp? Yeah. Go on. Come on down. Hitting our uh, tailbone with the back of our hand at the jump. So I'm always going to come down. Because if I go thumb up, I can't really turn my shoulder up that. But if I go thumb down, I can start doing that little thumb as soon as I take the bump and warm myself. Yeah, Conor McGregor, all right? Almost got this. Let's say he's on the map though, and, and after the limp arm, and I'm right here. We're going to just drill right here. He's trying to run down his knees. I'll take the jacket and stand up. But for now, we're going to stay right here. I'm pulling him to me, falling on top of him to get my uh, butterfly off, and I'm moving to the side. All right? So I'll stay here. Stay right here. When we're here, we're squeezing nice and tight. His hips are in my hand, so the moment that I let go of his hips, he can move, right? I don't really like seats up here, because he can move his hips, so I'm getting burnt up for a minute. See how he can move his hips, right? That easy half burn recovery. But if I put his hips in my hand with that butterfly lock, recovery is burnt. <laughs> it's really hard. Uh -huh. Any movement from him is probably going to crack his back, just because his spine is so controlled by this lock. I'm here. The wizard's hard, thumb down, lift. For now, I'm just gonna stay on his knees trying to stir you away, right? I'm grabbing one hip, grabbing the other, pulling it to me, giving me my butterfly walk. Staying right here, all right? Now, from here, I wanna pull him to his hip. A lot of people will make the mistake of sitting here. This isn't good with a good grappler because they'll use this moment to pass your guard, right? Savvy grapplers are really good at that and they welcome it. So, all I'm gonna do, when, as the building is coming down, I gotta make sure I'm no longer inside of it, right? Or else the building's gonna come down on top of me. So, I'm gonna take a step to the side, 
all right? And I'm going to be like a pit bull with a piece of meat in his mouth. And I'm going to drag it down to the mat, just like this. Notice how he's on his hip now, all right? So the bigger guys, I don't know if I can use that much flexibility. We're looking for the wrist right here, all right? And caving in. Now we can chill, try to move jam. Now we can start doing anything. <laughs> He's like going half Nelsons. I can literally walk around this guard. He ain't gonna do nothing from here. It's really bad MMA. This is what Khabib always does. When Khabib's like all of you. They get to a belt, you can see their elbow. That's what, right here. So it works really well. Okay, but if we want to take the back up, I'm not gonna let go of the body lock until I at least have one hook in. All right, why? If I let go of the body lock before, he gets his hip through. Right, and I can't get my hook in, and I saw him. lost a good opportunity. But if I put a hook in now, and have this hook start moving, I can follow him because I have a hook. So we're always going to put one hook in first with our but butterfly lock before we switch to a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we're really going to milk the body lock. We're really going to get to the beginning of a more dominant position. So we're here. I'll just go back to turtle. Okay, so I'm here. Step into the side. And I'm kind of doing like a side step to side. Right here. Stay nice and tight. Just sprawl it out too if you want to apply weight. If you want to take it back, throw that inside hook in, then immediately switch the seat up. All right, then we start pulling on top of us, getting our backs. If we want to do more of like a slow game, not really step our legs and just kind of stay safe, as they come up to their other, which they always do, because they have no hip right now, all they have is their arms on their feet. I'm going to grab the inside of this, pull it in, okay? And I'm going to grab a half Nelson on the other side, just like this. I'm just going to keep a lot of pressure. Walk, 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 walk. When I'm on the side control, I can let go of the wrist and get side control. It's like a wrestling term, but it works great. And it throws you to guys off. Okay. Sounds good? Any mm -hmm. questions? Can you see it again? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so be a good partner and lose your heart, all right? Not too hard. Don't hurt your partner's shoulder to give them a good re uh, reaction. Okay? So let me go ahead and pull up. I'm going to cast the leg, big step, right? He's going to lose his arm. As he does, my arm goes left. You have to train that reaction. Okay, you don't want to keep a strong arm and have the lizard, especially if he's like a good, like, he does the Uchimata. Works really good if we, if we keep our arm strong. All right, so make sure that we go limp so we can have some flexible. Does this work if he stays more square with you? Like, if he stays more square, that's but, when you're going to that other one. Uh, yes, but all I have to do is just take a little bit of step and get back to my foot. Okay, so he can be squares up, square up. We can rub you. Big steps. Yeah. Two wizards, my arm goes limp. Boom, he scurries away, I have both hips. Pull himself to me, fall into my butterfly lock. Take a step to the side, slide on my knees, pull him to his hip. If you want to chill and, not, and go nice and slow, wrist ride. If you want to stay here, that's fine. If you want to throw in your first hook in the, uh, right here, that's fine. Right? Because I'm controlling. All right, or we can just. Throw that hook in, then switch the seat belt, then start attacking the back. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Any questions? One, three, one, two, three.